Hi to all. Welcome to this uh, new tutorial on Xcube 2.2.3. And today I just want to show how to run a structural analysis over this um, over this model and check uh, the membrane stresses and the steel efforts with um, the BS checker or the Eurocode checker. Well, here we have done very simple shape. It's balanced, and we have uh, three loads: wind, uplift, wind down, and lift load. And we want to run now the structural analysis. The loads are quite high. Here, we fill in the load, the load cases with um, um, the factors for these loads. And generally, we have here 1.35, 1.35. And 1.35, then we have uh, 1.5 here, 1.5 here, and 1.5 here. The case is that have to fit with your uh, country codes. Uh, again, here we go into the analysis settings, and the accuracy of the analysis is controlled by these three numbers. So if between two successive load steps the difference in energy between two steps is bigger than this value the solver will stop with a convergence error the same is for the displacements and the same for unbalanced forces the reason why we leave displacements to one since displacement generally are very very high so to get convergence we need to put generally at least 25 here in this case now I have um, 35 steps and that means that the load will be split into 35 small loads and applied on the structure so one 35 part of a load will be applied at each step within each step a number of iterations are performed converge the unbalanced forces the displacements and the energy to this accuracy so we want to run all three load cases, we just run uh, run all and we see if the solver is going to convergence, we will see here all the data about uh, convergence criteria I just have to wait that it uh, ends up That's it. So after the analysis, we will see for each load case. This file will tell us if converged or not. In this case, we have all converged. The first thing that we want to do now is to check the stresses of the membrane. So we will go into the first load case, and easily we can check the membrane stresses. Um, we activate we take off in the plot ranges, we take off the automatic scaling and now we input as the minimum stress 0 and the maximum stress the working stress of the membrane in our case the working stress of the membrane is 11 uh, si sorry 16 uh, kilonewtons per meter since we are using a very pre-contained 702 and then we just click on an update uh, sorry we have to click uh, yes uh, the response we want to see the um, membrane we can use the von Mises stresses and so easily you can see that the stresses for load case number one uh, have a maximum of three kilonewtons per meter and so under the range uh, load case number two again we have seven kilonewtons per meter and this red area this area here and load case number three we have again four kilonewton per meter so the membrane is not uh, overstressed it's a good idea to check reaction forces to see that the model has been well defined we will see uh, floating reaction forces or, or unbalanced forces here 
uh, in parts of the of the structure, not fix it to the ground. And this means that we have uh, big unbalanced vectors, or we have uh, some error in the, in the modeling of the structure. And uh, last, we want to check uh, the steel elements. If we go here, we can see that uh, the columns are in, in this group here, column. And um, uh, this is the horizontal beam, and so on. To check the steel, we go into the British standard checker. So here we will check the steel against the British standards. We click here for the number of loads for which we want to check. And into the model, a double click will load the data into the checker. So in this moment we are checking the column group and we see here all the elements loaded from the group. We have the type of element, it's, it's a beam. The number of segments, these beams are made by one element and this is the cross section, it's a pipe. The technology used and all the data, the input data. We just recall here, check and all the elements are checked against all these load cases. So, a green line means that it has passed all the verification rules and we can see here the safety factor of the element. A number bigger than one is okay, so bigger this number is, it means that the, the element can be reduced inside, so the steel can be optimized. A number less than one means that the element is not verified. In the bottom table, we can see the, the checks for the strengths for all the load cases and for all the points that have been uh, checked. At the end, we find here the safety factor for that particular check. Then we have the buckling analysis, the buckling checker, and uh, the buckling checker will skip of course elements in tension and will check only compression. Uh, buckling and again the safety factor for the element. So once we are satisfied with this uh, checking, we can create a report, generate report, we can create a detailed report if you want or a synthetic report. And um, uh, generate this report and here it is a report where all the elements in this case I have, I have selected the synthetic report so one row for each element is, is um, printed and you'll find the beam code the section of the beam and the load case for which the safety factor has been generated the minimum safety factor in this case is 4.7 and all the numbers of that check. The same happens for the buckling check and so um, the beam element, the number, the, the cross section and the load case number one in this case has generated the smallest uh, safety factor. So that's quite, that's quite simple. If you want to check for another uh, group we can just double click to load the group and run again the checker. You see here that it has uh, passed both the strength checking and the button checking. Of course, well, that's quite okay. You can see here that the safety factor is quite uh, big. So maybe we can reduce the pipe. We can choose another pipe if we want, like this. In this case, the row becomes white. It means it's needs to be checked again so we can check it here it is and you see that the safety factor has been reduced from 4 to 2 so for this element we can use a pipe um, 3 of course after changing here the parameters of um, of the steel elements we need to run again the structural analysis because the stiffness of the structure has changed it and go back and recheck of course the, the elements so that was a quite fast and easy tutorial thanks for watching